for my Vox Pops. Um, I'm doing my questions on footballers because like, it's a subject that keeps on coming up in the media now and then. With all the scandals in the media nowadays. So that's why I thought it would be good to um, do my project on that. So I'm going to go and get some feedback and then I'll give you a conclusion. Day was something that we used to enjoy. We used to enjoy it too much, but if, if you go to games now, fans, fans ain't as passionate as before. Both families and massive businesses are buying that. You know these minor teams that have, you know, never um, you know, acquired massive history in their past. You know, football times. That like teams like Managa, PSG, and Man City have become more, you know, financially powerful. Um, Footballers today, I think, uh, we're overpaid for what they play and. Uh, I just think like people like soldiers, doctors should be earning a lot more than them. I think there's no passion in people, it's just a business, it's just about money. And um, it's not as what it used to be. It's just Footballers are getting paid for something they, they love and they're getting paid extortionate prices of what they're playing. You get you got people like Cristiano Ronaldo get two hundred pounds in a week. You get people like John Terry get one hundred ninety pounds in a week. These these players, uh, it's it's getting ridiculous. It's showing that football is such a huge business now. It's not it's not it's not, it's not about the passion of getting football. It's about it's about money. People like the, like doctors, like people in the army, they contribute more to the world. And uh, footballers, like I said before, they take their money for granted. Where um, other people around the world, they, uh, they deserve more money for what they're doing. To the service man, the army, people who fight for the army, they're dying for their lives. People who are working the ambulance are saving people's lives, while footballers are just playing with a football, using it with their own feet, kicking it about with other people. While if you look at an army or a person who works in the army as a soldier or for the cadets, they're dying for their lives and saving our country for what's best. Um. I think football has turned more into a business than a sport. I still admire footballers, they're still doing their job, but I just think they're getting paid way too much. Football is supposed to be a role model, wouldn't it? They're not a role model, look at John Terry. He's, he's England captain, he shouldn't even be England captain. Then you've got, you've got players like Wayne Rooney, yeah, he, he, he's, a, he's another one. But then you've got Steven Gerrard, who should be in prison by now for the, for the, for the fences he's done. Joey Barton is another one. Foot, foot, football is like, it's just, they, they don't know, what, they, they, they don't know what, what, what life is outside. The behaviours now that today have become more, you know, they've become more aggressive as players today themselves. They were supposed to be, you know, so-called idols. See examples like Joey Barton. The way he, you know, his attitude in the Premier League today is really, really, you know, it's disgusting from my point of view because, like, from a professional player himself, with the respect he needs to get from people and younger players who are looking at him today as a player, from especially, you know, QPR people, fans like that. You're supposed to, you know, be calm in football, you know, respect others, not, you know, start fights. Yeah, uh, I think that instead of, like, uh, creating mischief, on, uh, off the field, like, like for example, like, you know, Ryan Giggs and like John Terry, Wayne Bridge and all that, like, cheating on like, our players, um, wives and shit. Like that. Um, they should uh, like, focus what's being played like on the pitch.